1970 Pontiac GT37. Is that a GTO? No, it's a GT37. It was cheaper, it was lighter, and most importantly, it came with all the GTO goodies. A 352 barrel V8 was standard, putting out 255 horsepower, but if you checked all the right boxes, you could get a 400 V8. And there were two different variations of that engine. First, the one that was paired with the automatic transmission. It had number 16 heads, and it was rated 330 horsepower. Not bad. And then there was the monster that was paired with the manual transmission. It had number 12 heads, and it was rumored to be a Ram Air 3. Some people say that's been debunked, but you know what? It makes for good conversation. Regardless, John Sarek, the GM historian for Pontiac, stated that a 400 four-speed GT37 was actually quicker than a Ram Air 4 GTO in their private testing. Of course, they couldn't let the public know that because they were making a lot more money off of GTO sales. Let's get back to that engine. When paired with the manual transmission it had a compression ratio of 10.5 to 1 and it was rated 345 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. As I already mentioned, if you take a look inside, you'll find a four-speed manual transmission and then out back 355 gears were standard, but this car's had a little bit of an upgrade. It now features 433 gears. Curb weight of the GT37 was about 300 pounds lighter than a GTO, and this one with driver came in at 3,716 pounds. To me, it sounds like this car is going to be an absolute rocket, but let's check out its opponent first. 1972 Dodge Demon. <laughs> And specifically, this one is of the Demon 340 variety, and as you'd expect, it has a 340 cubic inch V8. But because it was 1972, the compression ratios were starting to take a hit, and this one was only rated at 8.5 to 1. It was still able to muster 240 net horsepower and 290 pound-feet of net torque. Inside, you'll find a drag race-friendly torque flight 3-speed automatic transmission, and then out back is a cruise-friendly set of 355 rear gears. And then we get to the biggest advantage of the Demon, and that is its weight. This car with driver is only 3,390 pounds. High Performance Cars Magazine tested a nearly identical Duster 340 in 1972. It had the same setup, a three-speed automatic transmission and 355 rear gears, and it ran 14.45 seconds at 95 miles per hour. How about we see what these cars can do today? Pontiac takes home the win, running 12.62 seconds at 110.95 miles per hour. And in the other lane, the Demon ran 14.12 seconds at 95 miles per hour. Since this was a single heads-up time trial race, that's all you get. Huge thanks to the owners for bringing out these cars. Absolutely awesome seeing them on the drag strip. Catch you guys at the next one.